Hello and welcome to Paper Kingdom. We played the demo version of this game and thanks to the developer for providing me a key we can play the early access version of it. We're going to jump right into a new game and start our new kingdom. Alright, so these are our starter cards. You can see in the top left hand corner of the screen here we have our food. We have two food in stock. We need one food a month to feed our village. Right now we only have one villager. One nomad guy here, he requires monthly demand of one meal, and we have two meals in stock. As long as he's fed, he will be happy. As long as we keep our village happy, people won't move out. We are currently in the nomad state. We can upgrade our rank by building a hut and a tribesman, which we'll get to very soon. The top right of the screen here, we have our, it's March 3rd of year one. This is our game speed. Triple speed goes pretty quickly. It looks like 66x, so that's nice and quick. Then we have some tips and tools here if you want some tips on how to play. Down here we have our build menu. You can click on this. We don't have anything unlocked right now. So we don't have any recipes to build anything. We have a cliff card right here. The cliff card is just basically a garbage. And you put on there, it will be destroyed forever. And then we have spring card. This tells you what month it is. Depending on the season, we can do different things. So right now we all have is a forest. A nomad, which we're going to put in the forest. He will takes one character and we'll get one stick every two days. And right now we just have two meals, so we're gonna let those sit there. Go ahead and unpause it. I have it on triple speed, so it'll go pretty quick. We discovered a C after walking through the forest. That's good there, so let's grab the C, put it over here. We've unlocked some new stuff here. We have the building. We have a hut we've discovered how to build. So let's just click on the hut, it puts the card on the playing field here and we can see that we need one character and five sticks to build this. So you right click on the card, it takes one off. We put five sticks down here and a build and nomad and he will build us a hut. So get to work on that. There you go, we've built a hut. We can see if we hover over it here. It requires one character and one food and it'll give us a meal. Or if one character in two meals, it'll give us a tribesman. So let's put our two meals on here and get us in our tribesman. It'll take 10 days to get that done. There we go. So we've met our requirements here. We are now on to the tribe level. Nice. And it is spring. So we can put one guy in the sea here. He will start fishing. And I guess we'll put one guy in the forest. Tension card is where battles will play out. So let's put that down here. And move our hut over here. So he's found some fish in the sea. We found a, our tribesman in the forest here found a quarry. So let's get this tribesman on the fish. He will butcher those fish and turn them into meat. And then we will... Let's just let him collect a couple more stones. We found something scary beast in the forest. This looks quite scary. Maybe it's friendly. There you go. We found a cow. Found a cow wandering around the forest. Let's put him over here for now. We got, got some cards bouncing around, so let's move some stuff here. Alright, so we have some meat. We can put the tri tribesman in the hut here with some meat and he will cook us some meals. Because right now we are a little unhappy. 95% not too bad, but we are have zero meals and we need two each month. It's almost the end of the month, so we need to be able to feed our guys. Looks like we found another scary beast in the forest. So I guess let's prepare for battle. So we found a bear. We're going to have to fight the bear. Okay, we're ready here. Let's fight the bear. Luckily he didn't fight back, so we did good there. Let's get these guys back to work. Finish making these into meals. Let's get this guy fishing. We, we got a raw hide here by beating the bear. Let's 
put that over here. So he will cook us some meals. Now if you hover over the sea here, we can see it takes two days to collect a fish. And if we hover over the fish, it takes one day to butcher the fish. So we will need two tribesmen collecting fish to every guy that we have uh, butchering fish. And that'll get us a, basically 30 fish a month. So right now we only need two meals a month uh, to support our village. So that would hold us for quite some time if we can do 30 a month. Let's grab another guy. I know we're going to be a little short on meals, but this will take us 10 days and we will get a new tribesman. All right, there we go. We got another tribesman. Let's go ahead. We need some more meals, so let's get him butchering the fish. Get those on the hut to make them turn them into meals. Let's grab two meals and let's get another tribesman going. There you go, let's put the second guy on the sea here. Let's put this guy down here. So now we have two guys fishing, one guy butchering. That's the ratio we want. That'll get us basically 30 meat a month. We can then turn that meat into meals. Let's go ahead and put it over here. We just fed our guys June 1st, so everybody just ate. We It is now summer. Let's check our thing here. We do have a recipe for a pasture and a recipe for a wheat farm. Put those over here. Let's see what they need. They need sticks, stones, and wheat. Sticks, stones, and cows. So we have a cow. This one is the cow. But we don't have the rest of the stuff, so let's hold off on that. Let's get this meal situation figured out. Let's get him making another tribesman. Ruh row found another bear. I have to take a break from... Let's get him off here. Let's grab him. Let's grab him. Let's grab him. Ready? There we go. That wasn't too big a deal. Let's get these guys back to work. We got another tribesman. Let's get this meat cooking. And I guess let's get somebody on the quarry down here. Found some stone. Now we have everything we need here, right? We have sticks, stones, and a cow. Go ahead and create another tribesman. It's July. We just fed our guys. We are a little short on food right now, so let's let him make some meals. Put him on the forest up here. Found a yellow sea while we were exploring the forest, which is some wheat. Wheat is what we needed. We found some wheat in the forest, so we now need sticks, stones, and characters. So we have some sticks and stones going, but we need some more characters. We got enough meals, so let's grab this. Grab some meals, let's get another character going. We are going to be sh coming to the end of the month here, so we're going to need to feed our guys. So let's get some more meals going. Two of these, make another tribesman. Uh oh, found another bear. We have one tribesman sitting here. Let's grab these guys. Ooh, looks like he fought back that time. This guy only has two health left. So what we can do is we can put him on the hut here. And let's see, what does it take? Requires two meals to cure him, so... I guess we're not going to worry about it. We're just going to let him hopefully survive the next battle. Because it costs two meals to get a new villager anyway. So if it takes two meals to heal him or two meals to get a new one, we might as well just get a new one. And we need another guy for scary beast approaches. What is this? this looks like a horse. 
there we go we did find a horse stick him over here in the farm the tribesmen so let's grab them let's get the wheat farm going we need 10 sticks for that so if you hold down alt and right click it, it gives you 10 cards off the stack super handy let's do that for this one he needs 10 sticks as well and this needs five stone and this needs five stone so let's grab five uh, grab these and let's split it in half here there you go so now you can see these two tribesmen are building the wheat farm it'll take them five days to build that let these guys do their thing there you go he built a wheat farm wheat farm requires Looks like a farmer and a wheat, and it'll give us 10 wheat every 30 days. So basically 10 wheat a month. Now you can see this is actually level one, so you can level these cards up by getting experience points. Looks like it needs the top right corner is the panel here. It takes 100 experience to level up. We can get 15 experience every time we harvest wheat. So basically every 30 days we can get 15 experience. So that's super awesome. Let's get the wheat on there. We need to get a farmer. Let's get these guys building this pasture down here. Let's grab two meals. Get another tribesman going. There we go. We progressed to the village. We met all the requirements. Now we've unlocked a whole bunch of buildings. You can see now we have tribesmen and we have villagers. So basically when we upgraded rank to the village, it upgraded all our people to a villager which I'm not actually too keen on because these guys aren't as strong. They only have two attack and six health, where the tribesmen, tribesmen have four attack and eight health. So let's actually make some more tribesmen just in case we get into a battle. We're going to need somebody to help fight, and we don't want the villagers fighting because they're not as strong. Oh, we didn't get the tribesmen in time. We were so close. So we're gonna have to use some villagers to fight this. There we go, we took a little damage, but we survived it. Let's get some meals going since we are out of meals. We have zero meals and we need 10. All right, let's actually grab another hut so that we can have one guy, uh, one guy making meals constantly and then we can have the other one to use to create villagers or, or tribesmen. So we need one character and five sticks. One, two, three, four, five. That'll get him going making the hut. This guy will make meals, that way we can hopefully get our meals before end of the month here. Two huts now. So we can make, this This one will always be cooking food, this one will be, we'll use to make extra villagers. What do we need to make the farm tool? We need three sticks and three stones. Three stones. Three sticks. And a tribesman. That'll make some farming tools. Oh, we found a wolf. Let's pet it. That wasn't good. We didn't like being petted, apparently. So again, we don't have tribesmen yet. We should have made some more tribesmen. So I guess let's put this one tribesman that we have down here. Let's grab our villager from the quarry. I don't know why he won't go in there. Let's try this guy. Here we go. Let's fight. How did we have so many people in there? Like, why are all my people down here? That's strange. I don't know what happened there. It's the 20th of September. We have some villagers here. We need really some more tribesmen so that we can fight battles better. 
Let's grab another one. I know we'll be a little short of meals, but so be it. We can turn this village in, into a farmer. He is now a farmer. If you right click on him, it removes the tool and he becomes back to a villager. So we're going to make him a farmer. Let's put him on the wheat field so he will make 10 wheat every 30 days. So that'll be good. In the long term, we'll, we'll definitely want to get this card leveled up so that we can rely on it as a food source. Farming tool. Grab three of these. Three of these. And a villager. It's another farmer, so now we can put him on the pasture. So now we're farming cows and wheat. Let's just let him finish making his tribes in. Oh, so he actually healed because I didn't realize he was injured. Instead of making a tribesman, he healed himself. So I guess that's fine. Let's leave it paused for a minute and let's organize our board a little bit. We got some huts. Let's create a little village up here. These are our huts. He will make meals. We have some villagers down here. We'll just leave them wandering around down here. We have, let's see, a forest with some sticks. Alright, then we have some farming areas over here. We have some rawhide. We don't know what we're doing with this. The horse is kind of a random card as well right now. Let's grab our pasture. And our wheat farm. Alright, so we got a farming area over here. We have some production cards in the middle and we have our village over here. So that's good. Let's take a look at the new cards. Let's take a look at the buildings first. Let's see, we need a cottage, we need a forge, we need a lumber mill, we need masonry, tannery, we need one of everything basically, weaver's farm, and a flax farm. So let's put our new cards down here. Alright, so stick, stone, and flax. farmer. If you just put the farmer on the wheat farm, I think he will create a flax for us. Let him go there. We need to get the flax farm going. That's what we're working on next. So let's move this card in up into the farm area. We need 10 sticks. Five stone. and two characters and a flax. So hopefully our farmer will get us some flax. There you go, he made us a flax. Let's put that on the flax farm. Let's put the wheat back over here. That, that'll, if we put the wheat farm on the, the wheat on the wheat farm, it'll make wheat now instead of flax. So we need two characters for this. Let's grab, we have these two guys here. He's building the flax farm, so let's see what's next. Let's work on the cottage. Cottage needs rock and wood. We do not have rock or wood. We have sticks and stones. So let's grab the tools. We need a miner. And we need a woodsman. So what do these require? These require sticks and stones as well. Three stones for you, three stones for you. Three sticks for you. Three sticks for you. What do we need? Just one character? Yep, one character. So let's grab. We're gonna need some more. That turn. Oh, we found a wolf. Let's pet it. Hey, we pet it. It was actually a dog. Let's put the dog over in the farm. 
I don't know what he does. It looks like he just uh, has a small attack mute rate. So we actually created a miner over here. We can put the miner on the quarry and he will mine us rocks. So the villager will get stones, the miner will get rocks out of the quarry. Put him on there. I'll make him a woodsman. We can put the woodsman on the forest here and he should bring us wood now. So winter has arrived. A closet that basically makes all our farms go idle. The farms do not work in the winter. So what we can do is actually, like as long as we remember, there's some tribesmen over here. What's going on over here? We need another farmer too. But we can take our existing farmers off and put them on the sea and let them fish. We just got to remember when winter's over to move them back. Eventually I'll just leave them on there and they'll just stay dormant for the winter. But right now we really... Okay, that's the start of our paper kingdom. We got a, off to a pretty good start with a nice sizable population. Uh, so we're going to get into some good stuff in the future like building ships and castles and exploring foreign ports. So make sure you watch for the next one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.